What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagrath here today with a rather high up video, apparently. Let me just lower that. Alright, oh, that looks a bit better. Alright, uh, here today with a uh, vinyl collection video, I believe this is part 6. Got a solid stack of records, so I'm going to try to go through them quick. Before I get into this, uh, I want to plug a couple things. Uh, I decided to reprint these because a lot of people were uh, asking me if I would reprint them. So this is the last time they're ever being printed. My Descendant Clothing shirts, Know Your Roots, and my Frederick uh, Nietzsche shirt. If you miss one, you can get just one. You can get two together, discounted, along with a um, Ootstadt CD. So I got bundles and stuff like that. So check out Celestial Oak Productions at BigCartel.com and uh, pick up a shirt or whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. All right, so the first record, this is uh, <clears throat> not usually my type of... Uh, music. I'm not a big fan of like occult rock and stuff like that for the most part, but love this album. Blood Ceremony, The Eldritch Dark. Got this, I want to say it, Mr. Cheapo's, the place is called, out in Long Island. Didn't have too many records I wanted when I visited, but uh, this one stood out to me. Uh, this is a record store day version, apparently. Um, comes with a nice lyric sheet and on uh, a very cool red vinyl. Uh, check out the song uh, Ballad of the Weird Sisters. Yep, that's probably like one of my favorite songs uh, from this style. Killer shit. Check it out. All right, next record. Fucking amazing death metal album. Blood Incantation with Star Spawn. This is just fucking incredible. If you're a fan of Time Ghoul, this is definitely for you. Some finished death metal elements. Uh, just a fucking killer, killer death metal album. Very cosmic sounding. This was uh, definitely one of my favorite releases of... Uh, 2016, I think it was. Comes with this uh, lyric sheet. A really weird poster. And it also comes on a nice red vinyl. And I love the center label. I love like that old school li record label, center label for old school death metal. I love shit like that. Uh, this album is fucking sick though, but most of you have already heard it, so I don't really need to explain more beyond that. Next up is a very bizarre album with a lineup, but it really works, oddly enough. This is Blutterbolt with Indoctrine. Holy hell. This is such a bizarre fucking uh, album. It's Berman from Revenge, James Reed from Revenge, and Alan, I want to say he pronounced his last name Admiral, I could be wrong on that, from Primordial. Never thought I would hear that in my life, that sort of lineup, but you know what? It's actually really cool. Um, it's kind of chaotic Black Death sort of shit, but it feels like even more militant than uh, Revenge. And the clean vocals that Alan does really works to create this, like, kind of, like, angry general sort of sound. I don't know. It's really cool though. Definitely check this album out. It was put out by uh, Iron Bonehead. Uh, it just comes with a lyric sheet. 
and it's just on a black vinyl, so I'm not gonna bother with that. But uh, highly recommend this if you're a fan of uh, Alan's vocals and if you're a fan of Revenge. Uh, trust me, this thing actually does work. Next album. Never really got into this band. It's the only thing I have from them. Uh, I really like this album, at least. I know I don't like their other ones from what I've heard. But it was years ago. Bolt Thrower, Those Ones Loyal. This is a uh, Record Store Day edition. You all know Butt Fucking Bolt Thrower. I almost said Butt Fucking Thrower. I don't know why. Oh, I'm tired. It's going to be a long day. All right, and this is the Record Store Day version on uh, gold vinyl. Gold, a.k.a. transparent orange, apparently. Uh, this is a metal blade press. I don't know if there was ever a press on anything else. I literally know, like, next to nothing about this band. I checked out a couple albums. I can't remember which ones, but I didn't really dig them. But I found this at a record store and couldn't pass it up for the price. Here, I give it a shot. Speaking of cheap finds, this one was dirt cheap. When I picked this up, probably like three years ago. Borknagar with the Olden Domain. This is also a uh, record store day press from Century Media. I'm trying to remember what this comes with. I don't think this is on any special color. I think it's, yeah, it's just black vinyl. Printed inner sleeve. And... Poster. This album is awesome. Another album, I don't think I really need to explain to too many people. Uh, some people say Viking metal. Uh, this is definitely before their progressive black metal era. This has like more of like a... Almost an over-ish vibe. I don't know. I love this album. I love like the first few records from... Uh, Portnagar. I like their whole discography for the most part, but the early stuff is definitely my favorite. Uh, next record, uh, Black Death from Switzerland. This is Bolzer, and this is Roman Acupuncture. Really cool jacket. I love that. It's like embossed and like... Uh, foil stamped. Really cool shit. Comes with this uh, little insert. Lyrics on the other side. And the record itself is a black vinyl. I believe there is also a gold. But I got the black vinyl and single sided with uh, that etching going around the entire record. Which is super cool. Uh, I fucking love Bolzer. If you haven't listened to them, excellent stuff. Uh, I don't prefer this one to... I prefer this to the new album. I, uh, newest album, I should say. Um, but I do like uh, the first two demos more than this, but still pretty cool. Uh, next, this is like a country sort of album I got from uh, Classy Metal. This is Brother Dedge with How to Kill a Horse. This is a basically a country album, and it's kind of fucking good, actually. A lot of potential with this dude, for sure. Uh, it's just on black vinyl. Comes with this uh, insert put out by Magic Bullet Records. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this album to be a uh, country at all, but it is, and it's pretty decent stuff. There's, it's a little boring, and it gets a little repetitive, but honestly, I really see a lot of potential with this dude if he can find, like, more of his own sound instead of, like, 
trying to sound old school, but with like a modern like twist. I don't know. I think this guy has a lot of potential though. I really dig it. Uh, next bunch of records and the last bunch of records is from the same band. So I know it's cool to hate this band now for some fucking reason. I don't give a shit what your reason is. One of the greatest goddamn bands in the history of black metal. Burzum, here is the self-titled with Asuke, back on black pressing, gatefold, just black vinyl. This album is a fucking masterpiece. Uh, yeah, Lord of the Depths, uh, War, My Journey to the Stars, so many great fucking songs on this album. Definitely a true black metal classic. Next. We have Dead Sum in Gang Var. Back on Black Pressing. Another great album. Key to the fucking gate, dude. Lost Wisdom. The ambient track on this thing is incredible. Absolutely love it. This is a record store day version. Comes on a uh, nice silver split with white. They need to reprint these albums because I noticed they're starting to sell for a bit, even on Discog. So hopefully, Back on Black will do a another run of these in the future. But uh, yeah, this thing's fucking awesome. Another classic. I don't need to say much about it. If I can get it back in the sleeve. Next, this is my favorite Burzum record, period. One of my all-time favorite albums, period. Havis Lisette Tar Os. This is the beginning of Atmosphere Black Metal. Oh, once again, another back on black pressing. Black vinyl, gatefold. Cool artwork. But, uh, yeah, the song Death on Men Gang Var, probably one of the best black metal songs ever written, period. Just absolutely massive, majestic, just one of the greatest songs ever written, period, in my opinion. Var was a fucking genius when he wrote that. Uh, this whole thing is just genius. I love the final track, Tom Hit. I know a lot of people don't. I do. It's a great ambient piece, perfect outro. Many of you already know my story of my first time listening to that album, and that experience definitely uh, affected my enjoyment of this for the better. Uh, next, Philosophum, or Philosophum, I can't remember, I think it's Philosophum. Back on black pressing once again on black vinyl. Yeah, this album just fucking rules as well. This is like another 10 out of 10 album. The dude put out like four 10 out of 10 albums, in my opinion. Just like, what a fucking genius when it comes to music. God damn. I know a lot of people are sitting there rolling their eyes, but I don't give a fuck. This is some absolutely great shit. Most of what you listen to worships this anyway, so fuck off. Uh, next, I do not own any of the Prison albums. Unfortunately, I do want to get those. I don't have Bellis, which I'm whatever about. But I love this one. Fucking Fallen. This album is just absolutely gorgeous. One of the only post-Prison albums I like. Gatefold. Of course, pressed on by Back on Black. This is just on Black Vinyl. Yekfeller and uh, Bud Stickin. Those two songs, the clean vocals in it. So fucking sick. Love, love, love this album. There was also like a flesh colored one that came vinyl that came with like buttons or whatever. I never got one of those and I don't really care. Uh, this album is just absolutely genius though. Haven't spun it in a while, but that's gonna have to change. But I kind of like associate that album with the fall. I usually put that on, like, mid to, like, late October. 
Anyways, last record. This is Burzum with From the Depths of Darkness. Uh, this is basically re-recorded songs from the first two Burzum records. I guess Varg wasn't happy with uh, how they sounded on the original, so he wanted to re-record them. And honestly, this is awesome. I love uh, the new versions of Feeble Screams from the Forest Unknown. Uh, My Journey to the Stars, Key to the Gate, uh, Ea, Lord of the Depths, uh, Spell of Destruction. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, the one thing I will say, if the vocals on the early Burzum records turned you off, then give this a listen, because this is with the more modern vocals that Varg used towards the end of the black metal side of Burzum, of the straight-up, like, raspy throaty screams instead of like the that high pitch sounding like you're getting like murdered <laughs> but uh awesome stuff nonetheless this is on uh white vinyl double lp great shit i know a lot of people wrote this off just because it's a bunch of re-recordings but honestly i think uh it's an album you guys should definitely look into it's really really good stuff but uh, that is going to end part six of my vinyl collection, and the B section will move on to the C's and uh, go from there. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to limit my, the size of one of my parts on my shelf so uh, it doesn't take up too much time in that part. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out my Big Cartel if you're interested in those shirts and uh, CD. All orders that have been placed are going out tonight. i uh packing them up and everything. I've just been super busy with uh, getting SDG ready for press. We're, like, that close. I'm going to be uh, probably sending it to press next week or the week after. So, uh, yeah, that's been what's going on. And uh hope you guys enjoyed this video. If not, oh, well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.